And given the terrible toll that the past year has had on the mental well-being of the nation, it strikes me that resilience is probably at an historic low ebb for many. So what would your advice be to those who are suffering mentally from the COVID crisis and its devastating economic as well as health impacts? Well, I think it is important that we, we do establish that uh, people have been impacted greatly by, uh, in terms of their mental health, by the COVID pandemic. So I always like to look at statistics. I'm a, a fact-based guy um, because um, facts really do um, paint the right picture. So prior to COVID, uh, mental health issues such as depression and anxiety have been the number one reason for visiting a doctor or a GP in Scotland since 2006. And that statistics reflected worldwide in the developed world um, since 2010. Uh, and um, again, prior to COVID, one in four people uh, would be expected to experience a mental health issue such as depression or anxiety, one in four per year. Now, a recent study by, uh, conducted through YouGov um, during COVID has shown that actually two out of three people during the pandemic thus far have experienced depression or anxiety. That's pretty, pretty significant. Um, and it's an almost, it's more than double, it's almost treble where the, the natural position was just a year ago. But also, quite alarmingly, one in 10 people have experienced suicidal ideation during COVID. And again, that's about treble the normal figure prior to COVID. So again, that, that paints a picture that there's been a very marked effect on people's mental health. And it's just common sense to, to understand that that is the position when you think that um, the rate of unemployment is up, the rate of domestic violence is up. Um, uh, so many statistics, negative statistics um, are up, business failures are up, and it's only part and parcel then when you think that people are worried about their income, um, worried about their business, worried about their employment, can they put food on the table? Um, these things would naturally spark, spark anxiety. Uh, and of course, we're not designed to be isolated um, we are designed to be connected people and the more isolated we are then the more our mental health our moods uh, is affected 